Today, we're jumping on board one of the very best airlines in the world and one of my favorites, EVA Air. As always, I'll be providing a detailed trip report and a summary of my overall experience. I've also done full trip reports and their Royal Laurel class and their Premium Economy class and I'll leave the links in the description. Today's trip will be on their Boeing 777-300 flying from London Heathrow's Terminal 2 to Bangkok on approximately 12 hour direct flight. Just a quick heads up that EVA Air's check-in counters have moved, so as you enter the terminal, head left, go right to the very back wall, follow the wall around to the right, and then again slightly to the right. After check-in was completed, I visited the Plaza Premium Lounge where I had complimentary access through my lounge key. The Plaza Premium Lounges are some of the more nicer lounges in my opinion and hence why it was very busy so I was unable to make any films. So let's head straight for boarding. Hello. Hello, Dumbo. 69 Okay, this way please. Thank you. EVA Air operates a few different aircraft layout types. This will be the most commonly used on this route. The Royal Laurel or Business Class consists of 39 seats in a 1 to 1 configuration with an impressive seat width of 26 inches. There are 56 seats in premium economy with a seat width of 19.3 inches and a seat pitch of 38 inches. Then into economy, they're split into two cabins with a total of 258 seats with a seat width of 17 inches, seat pitch of 31 to 32 inches. We'll now dive straight into a quick seat tour. Underneath your seat is a power plug shared between two seats and above is a reading light and individual air vent. Waiting at your seat will be a pillow and blanket, a wet wipe and headphones. I found the pillow not to be too hard or too soft and had quite a nice medium balance to it. The blanket is also soft and comfortable and keeps you quite warm, especially when you're traveling during the winter months. The seat has an adjustable headrest and is made from material rather than leather, which I think makes for a more comfortable long haul flight. Economy class is generally set up in a 343 configuration, with the exception of rows 70, 71, 72, and 73, which are in a 242 configuration. I'm in seat 69A which has plenty of legroom and in front is a seat pocket with the safety card and just above that is a tray table. You can open the tray table in its folded form if you're having for example drinks and you can open it fully and slide it back and forth when you're dining. Whilst I give everything a quick wipe using the sanitizing wipe they provided, I'll also tell you just above the tray table is a USB port and your headphone jack. Unfortunately my USB port didn't work, neither did it work for my neighbour and I left my main power plug in my main suitcase. Luckily, I do carry a power bank. The in-flight entertainment screen, or IFE, is approximately 11.1 inches and is pretty good quality, which we'll cover later on. There is also a coat hook found on the side of the seat in front of you. I first flew EVA Air back in 2012 by accident, and I was so happy that I did, as the product was so amazing, I rebooked another three or four flights in economy before trying the premium economy and the premium economy was a significant step up and I flew that product again three or four times before trying the Royal Laurel or business class product. Again that was a significant step up so EVA Air is a fantastic airline whichever cabin class you choose. It was now time to cue the safety video and prepare for taxi and takeoff. 滑行起飞即降落时,手持时电子用品请持稳,收妥或置于前方以待内。during taxiing, takeoff, and landing, handheld devices must be held securely or placed in the seat pocket. Large devices, including laptops, must be stowed in the overhead compartment or under the seat in front of you.
after a nice takeoff and beautiful views of the London city, we'll now have a look at the in-flight entertainment system. First you'll need to select your language, there are quite a few options and as usual I chose English. You'll also use your in-flight entertainment system to call the cabin crew, turn on your personal light and also have a look at the menu if you wish. On previous flights I have said that Eva Air could have a better entertainment offering such as a wider variety and more episodes. However I might have missed a little heading at the top which has allows you to break down the category and choose various different things to watch. You can also use your in-flight entertainment system to play games and look at your route map with all the flight details. I wouldn't consider this in-flight entertainment system to be completely interactive as you can't focus on individual landmarks and limited zoom in zoom out functions but there are these functions on the right hand side. Now I'm actually blind so I can't actually see what I'm pressing but just trying to give you an idea of what you can press and select and show you the kind of views you get. I hope it helps. One thing I did like about the in-flight entertainment system is that when you're watching a TV program or a movie, it will ask you what language you'd like to select and whether you'd like subtitles. It was now time for dinner. As usual, I pre-selected a special meal. This is the first time I selected a vegan oriental meal. And here it is. Normally the cabin crew would tell me what it is, but as I was sitting in the window, it's too far away for them, so I'll try my best. The main course was steamed rice with some vegetables and this pancake type thing which is delicious. There's also some fruit which was strawberry and mango which I've never had in economy class. And the thing on the left, I have no idea what that was, but it was delicious. Overall, fantastic meal. If you haven't pre-ordered a meal, then you'll choose between chicken rice and beef noodles. As mentioned before, Eva Air has a fantastic product whichever cabin class you choose to travel in. And one of the main reasons for that is the cabin crew, they are sensational. During this meal service, they came around at least three or four times to ask for tea or coffee. As we're travelling on an overnight flight from London to Bangkok, which is six hours ahead, we are always blessed with some beautiful views of the sunrise. As it is an overnight flight, many people are sleeping during the flight, but despite this, the cabin crew will still pass through on a regular basis, checking if anyone's awake and if they need anything. So five hours into the flight, the cabin crew saw me awake and offered me a snack, which is this bag of fruit, and it was fantastic. It was now time to try and get some sleep. After a couple of hours of sleep, I happened to wake up just at the right time when the cabin crew were passing through, and they offered me this apple juice, and I like that it's in a paper cup, not a plastic cup. The nearest washrooms were behind me, which is at the back of the plane, and after several hours into the flight I visited and was pleased to see that it's still clean. I was also impressed to see that they offer amenities, which is not very common in economy flights. We are now about three quarters into the flight and the cabin crew prepare for breakfast. It all starts with this beautiful mood lighting. The tones and colours used help awaken the senses gradually, make for the perfect wake up. Here's a quick look at the earbuds that they provide. I'm not a fan of these earbuds that go into your ears. I always bring my own over the ear headphones. If you do have your own headphones, you can also plug those in into the headphone jack port. Let's now check out breakfast. As mentioned before, I'm blind, so I can't actually tell you what I ate, but I do remember having noodles with vegetables, some fruit, and I don't know what this last dish is. So if you do know, please let me know. The food was fantastic again, and another thing I like is that they offer metal cutlery. There's not many airlines that will give you this in economy. If you haven't pre-ordered a special meal, then from what I could hear, you'd be offered a chicken sausage or frittata or pork noodles. And just like before, again, the cabin crew came round about three or four times offering tea or coffee. EVA Air are always fantastic regardless of what cabin class you choose and they're so hard working you have nothing but admiration for them. Very impressive. I'm not a fan of flying in economy especially on such long haul flights but EVA Air has to be an exception. Every flight I've had has always been fantastic. And now as we approach to land in Bangkok they put on their lovely signature music which is so calming and relaxing. A fantastic flight and highly recommend them.
If there was any areas I would say EVA Air need to improve on, it would be two things. The first is the entertainment selection, it would be nice if there were some more western options with episodes. And the second is being able to book your special assistance online rather than having to contact a call centre. As always, all my trips are self-funded and my reviews are honest. As you can appreciate, this is not a very easy hobby for someone who's 99% blind, so if you did enjoy this video, I really hope you can hit the thumbs up as it helps me and the channel and the video, and subscribe for more videos on travel coming up. I made this video after receiving a request from a viewer or subscriber to make the EVA Air Economy Class review, so I hope you enjoyed it. And the next flight video we'll be doing will be again EVA Air in Economy Class coming from Bangkok back to London. So, stay tuned. See you then.